You came to see me. The one you haven't met yet? That's right, your fiance. Apparently he didn't believe it when you wrote saying I meant nothing to you. Don't worry, I've straightened it all out and soon you'll be Mrs Hogg. Well, that's the name, isn't it? That's the name he gave me. He's a nice fella, I congratulate you. Attractive? Um, for his type, I'd say yeah. But I wouldn't put him on a diet. I think that little stomach of his gives him a nice homely quality. And that's what you're looking for in a husband, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're perfectly right. If I was a girl, and had to choose between a young good-for-nothing with plenty of hair, or a mature citizen like Matthias Hogg, I'd pick Matthias Hogg every day. A fine mind. Um, he struck me as depressed, but then I think it's unfair to judge a man who's out of work. But he does feel you could both live quite comfortably on your salary. He was a little worried to start with, but once I explained that you'd be getting a bonus, he was quite happy with that. And let me tell you, when I mentioned the bonus, that did you no harm at all. Oh, God, don't be sad. I'd hate to think I was spoiling your Christmas. Listen, if I'd have known how you felt about me from the start, we wouldn't have been fighting all this time. Do you know what I wish would really happen? When your doorbell rings and you open the door, instead of Hog, it's me standing there. And I'd say to you, darling, my dearest sweetheart, I can't take this any longer. Please kiss me.